on Smith Lake and some of the things that we found here is top water rules. Is that not right? That's absolutely right. Um, pretty much almost year round on this lake, you can right. almost catch them on a top water bait. So uh, you have to say now, you, you happen to have this in your hand. I hadn't seen very many of those yet, but uh, tell, uh, tell us about the name of the company and uh, what model that is too. Uh, this here is a uh, Jinko. It's the co company's Jinko Fishing. They're out. Uh -huh. of, they're out of Kentucky. They're kind of a new company. It's probably one you haven't seen one yet. But uh, this is the Flea Bag 110 walking bait. Uh, this is a chrome shad color. Right. And it's got a nice finish. It's already got good hooks. You won't have to change your hooks on it. Right. Uh, really sharp. I mean, everything is perfect about it. And it's more of a subtle type walking oh. bait. It's got like a little rattle. It don't have a big knocker in it. Uh huh. And a uh, it don't make a big splashes and wakes, so it's more of a, a subtle type walking bait, but it works really good on these finicky spots. So th with that, that's almost a spot killer, huh? Almost. Is it's, that what you're saying? It is on this lake because uh -huh. that's what, it bites top water, but um, I mean, it is sure, it'll catch any kind of fish that's pressured a lot. It's just a, it's just a really subtle type walking bait. And so, uh, uh, to give us a little insight on that lure, would you use that when it's choppy? Are you looking at something where the water, like today, is flat, calm? Would that's a better bait when it's calm? Absolutely. When it's oh, flat, calm, okay. slick, calm, uh -huh. I would I would definitely stick with something like this because you oh. don't need a bunch of action when it's calm because they uh -huh. can find it, okay. and uh, that's probably the best time to use it. All right, good information there. Once again, it's uh, Fleabag One Ten Jinko okay. Fishing.